Okay, so this is my um, Hatsan Optima or Escort MP tactical shotgun. Now, I've had this since, I guess, August 2012. And I've probably put about 200 rounds through it or close to it. And it's been perfect, no jams or hang ups. Um, I really like it. Uh, and what I understand about this, and under a lot of research, I discovered that the internal parts are basically a Heckler & Co. FP6 shotgun. So it's German parts. It was designed by Fabrum of Italy. And it's made in Turkey. As you can see here. So... Anyway, I really like this shotgun. Um, I put a Butler Creek uh, padded sling on it. It fits pretty nice. I kind of modified my own hinge back here. Um, what I like about it is the shell holder. It's pretty cool. It holds two extra shells for emergency or whatever. Um, and I've noticed that after watching other people's videos of Benelli M4s, this is exactly the same grip, pistol grip or stock. Well, the stock back here is a little different because only Hatsan has this two shell holder, but the grip is really comfortable. It's a soft rubber, and I really like the sights, ghost rings. With the only complaint in this entire gun being that I've had to raise those sights so high. Otherwise, like slugs are in the dirt at, you know, 50 or 100 yards. They're just in the dirt. And at one point I raised it so high the screw even came out right here. This is like spring loaded. And I had to put some Teflon tape in there just to keep it because I'm actually going a little higher than the dog ears here. But it's not bad. I mostly just shoot buckshot. Bird shot and slugs. Well, a lot of, a lot of slugs, mostly slugs. And you know, at 100 yards, I'm within an 8-inch group or so. So and I'm not all over the place, but you know. Anyway, standard like a Remington cross bolt safety. Here's your slide release here. And what I really like is that it's got the chrome line barrel and chamber. So that should last pretty good. And this one's sort of designed after the Remington, from what I could tell. It, it breaks down the same way. You field strip it the same way. But comparing this to even, like, you know, $2,100 Benelli's, they don't come with the heat shield. I'm not sure. I don't think Benelli's come with a flash suppressor. I'm not even 100% sure about fiber optic sights that are standard on this. Um, I know Benelli's have a Picatinny rail, another rail underneath for mounting like a flashlight or a laser sight. Uh, it's an 18 inch barrel and I really like it. So, yeah, oh, and it comes with uh, an extra magazine cap that it's right here that you see there just plastic so I guess in case that breaks or something you can swap that out and these are like shims for to put right in here for the stock to adjust the angle and it also comes with a different end cap that you can put in place of the flash suppressor to really shorten it up at least an inch or so and I bought a 44 inch case for it and it fits just perfectly. It was really tight at first, but well, yeah. Anyway, so that's basically it. Um, if anyone else has a problem with these sights like I do, where you have to raise them up so high, let me know. And that's about it. I love my hats on. <laughs>